Start by checking the import settings for your font map. With the type set to advanced, enable read write and choose true color for format. I'm also going to set the point filter. Create a new material and drop the texture into its slot. Assign the textured text shader to the material. Create a custom font object and put the material into its material field. Now start the editor by clicking Windows Font Editor. On the left side, drop the font into the slot, then click Start. Drag the right mouse button to pan. Use the mouse wheel to zoom. Clicking Reset View will recenter and unzoom the window. To create a character definition, click the plus one button. The editor will add a rect to the image. Drag with the left mouse button and position around a character in the image. Resize as needed with the handle. In the character properties box on the left, set the appropriate letter. Each box shows which letter it defines. Click plus one to add another rect. The editor will guess the next character, B in this case. Move and resize the new box as needed. Repeat this for all desired characters. On the right, clicking Shrink Wrap will resize all the rects to their optimal size. In the scene, you should find an object called Font Setter Preview Text. Currently, all the letters are overlapping because the line spacing property of the font has not been set. I'll change the text to some letters that are used. Note that there are currently no gaps for the space. Click plus one and move the new rect somewhere empty. Put a space character in the property box. The size of the space rect should be as small as possible. And control the width of the space using the leading or trailing width. Now I need to adjust the vertical positioning of some of the characters. This T needs to be drawn higher. Click per character vertical offsets to turn on these sliders. Drag them to adjust the vertical positioning of the character. Any character drawn in front of this D needs to be drawn closer, so change the leading width. They now overlap appropriately. The editor can also handle rotated characters. Add another rect and position it over the rotated character. Change the orientation property. Repeat for all rotated characters. If at any point you have more than one rect for any character, this prompt will appear telling you which character is duplicated and where on the image it is. Click the Remove button to delete the selected rect. Now shrink wrap the newly positioned rects. These characters are now drawn with the correct orientation. If 
their orientation had not been changed, the characters are drawn like this. The vertical height of all the new characters will now have to be set. This concludes the basic features rundown.